Hi, I'm Josh from Easy Drawing, and in today's video, I will be teaching you how to flash new firmware to an XM class. For today's video, we will need an XM plus, a soldering iron, some solder, a servo plug with wires, an SD card, a radio, and then a computer. To start, we will need to begin by unpackaging our XM plus and heating up our soldering iron. Now that our XM Plus is unpackaged, we can start connecting the servo plug to the pads in preparation for connecting it to the controller to flash it. To pair our servo plug, I'm going to chop off the wire right about here, and then separate each wire so we have a little bit of room to work with. I'm then going to strip each wire to expose the metal so that we can solder it. And now it is ready to solder. I'm going to take our XM Plus now and get the pads ready to solder. So in order to do that, I'm just going to take a little bit of solder, the soldering iron, and melt a little bit of solder to each pad. Now I will solder each one of the exposed wires just to get a little bit of solder on that so that it sticks better to the pad on the XM Plus. There's two different methods for flashing your XM Plus. One uses the smart port on pretty much any First Sky radio and the other one uses the module bay on almost any radio at all. First I'll be showing you how to use the smart port to flash XM Plus and then I will show you how to use the module bay to flash XM Plus. To start flashing using the smart port method, there should be three different wires on the smart port of a first guy radio. S port, 5 volts, and ground. These pins need to correspond to the pins on your XM Plus or you will fry your receiver. In this video we will be using white as S port, red as 5 volts, and black as ground. You need to solder the uh, S port to S bus. 5 volts to 5 volts and ground to ground on your XM Plus. We will start by soldering the white S port cord to the S bus pad on our XM Plus. Now we will solder the 5 volt pad. And lastly, the ground. And that's it. This is all we need to do to prepare the XM Plus for flashing using that smart port on a first guy radio. Now we will be preparing the radio to flash the firmware to the XM Plus by downloading the correct firmware to the SD card and putting it in our radio. Once you have clicked on the downloads tab, <coughs> download the correct firmware for your radio. In this video I will be downloading version ACCST D16 version 2.1.2. .2. Once you have downloaded the file, click on it it should open the file in your computer's file explorer. Then open the file and move the correct firmware to your radio. In this video the correct firmware would be XM ACCST 2.1.2 FCC FRK. Once you have moved the firmware file to your SD card, put it in your firmware folder so that it is easy to find when it is on your radio. Once the SD card is in your controller, you are ready to flash the firmware to your XM Plus. To start flashing firmware to your XM Plus using the smart port method, you will first need to turn on your controller. Welcome back, FP Visioning. And then plug in your XM Plus to the smart port on your controller. Make sure that you get the correct orientation of the wires or your XM Plus may be bricked or even burn up. When it is plugged in, it is still getting no power. As you can see, there are no lights on the XM Plus. So we need to go to our SD card, go to our firmware folder, scroll down until you find your XM Plus firmware file. Hold down on the enter button 
and click flash S port. After clicking that button, you should see some red and green lights on your Accent Plus indicating that it is being flashed. Once the firmware is done flashing, you should see a flash successful on your the screen of your controller. Click OK and it is okay. to unplug your XM Plus. I will now show you how to flash an XM Plus using the module bay in your controller. Please make sure to check the wiring of your controller's module bay in the user manual before you do this as it may differ from our controller's module bay. Our controller's module bay goes VBAT, ground, S port. So we need to cross the wires on our servo plug in order to get the correct orientation. I will start by soldering the S port wire to the S bus pad on my XM Plus. The reason I'm using the black wire instead of the red wire for voltage is because the ground and voltage on our module bay on our controller are uh, reversed. So the black wire is voltage and the red wire is ground in just this case. In our module bay, the bottom three pins are the pins we'll be using to flash our XM Plus. The bottom pin is S port, the middle pin is ground, and the top pin is voltage. We'll plug in our XM Plus, and then flip the radio over and turn it on. No, really? Welcome back, FT Visioning. We will now go to our SD card contents on our radio, scroll over to our firmware tab, and scroll down to our, for our firmware for our XM Plus. We will long click on our enter button and go to flash external module. The red and green lights should be on on your XM Plus, and this indicates that it is successfully flashing the module at this time. When your XM Plus is done flashing, you should see a flash successful icon on the screen of your controller. Click OK, exit the menu, and shut off your controller. You can now disconnect your XM Plus from the module bay on your controller. The last step in this process is on soldering the servo plug from your XM Plus so it is ready to wire up to your flight controller. Congratulations! You have just finished successfully flashing your XM Plus receiver. It is now ready to wire to a flight controller and bind to your radio. Let us know down in the comments which method you use, either the, using the module bay or the S port to flash your XM Plus. Make sure to subscribe to the Easy Drone channel for more tutorials and hit us with a thumbs up if this video helped you. Thanks for watching. I was gonna hit you with the thumbs up. <laughs> hey! <laughs>